Hi, I've been asked many times about the riding mode settings on EUCs, especially on InMotions. Other EUCs have only three riding modes, but uh, on InMotion there are a lot more settings to adjust. In this video I'm trying to demonstrate how the settings affect the riding. Now, this is of course a very coarse simplification, but it should give you some idea about how it works. Now we need an EUC and a rider. First, we will accelerate with a sensitivity setting of 100. This is the same as a hard mode on other wheels. On in motion, commuter and off-road modes behave roughly the same on this setting. Rider starts to lean, but the wheel stays completely horizontal. Because the wheel is so sensitive in this setting, you have to bend your ankles and keep pushing or the wheel will catch you and the acceleration will stop. If you lean harder, you have to bend your ankles even more, but the wheel will accelerate fast. And this is the setting that aggressive riders often like, although it can be exhausting. Then we adjust the sensitivity to a low value. Now the differences between commuter and off-road will start to appear. First we accelerate slowly. The rider leans forward and the wheel also tilts forward. The ankles stay in a normal angle and this is an effortless mode to ride with because the wheel lets you fall forward a bit before trying to catch you. Then on the commuter mode when you accelerate fast the wheel will tilt a lot. This is comfortable, but doesn't feel very stable. Then we lean hard with an off-road mode and sensitivity is still at a low value. But the wheel doesn't tilt any more than it did with the slow acceleration. There are good and bad aspects of all extreme settings, so the optimal setting is usually somewhere in between. Whether you like the commuter or the off-road mode more, you just have to test it yourself. Both can of course be used for commuting or off-roading. The name is just a description. On some in-motions there are so-called split mode settings, which adds a slider for braking and another slider for acceleration. There is still the master sensitivity slider and all three sliders work together. The split mode settings can be slightly confusing so there can be quite a bit of trial to find the optimal setting for you. The settings can be adjusted while riding, so it's quite easy to find a suitable setting. I seem to have found good settings with all three sliders somewhere in the middle, and acceleration a bit harder and braking a bit softer. There we go. Hopefully that was helpful. And just remember that you can freely try any setting you want. Just that when you put it on a very soft setting, don't accelerate very hard at first. Because it can be surprisingly soft. Keep trying the settings and you will surely find your favorite. Thanks for watching.